Hey guys, if you like my videos, click on subscribe and give me a like. And don't forget the bell so you can get notified of new ones. Hey guys, Dale here. Thanks for watching. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to recover your browser data for both Chrome and Firefox. If you have, like in this case, a bad hard drive, an unbootable hard drive, or just a corrupted drive in general, whether it's a hard drive, an SSD drive, a three and a half inch drive, it don't matter. As long as the data is readable, um, we should be able to get the, the, the bulk of the browser data. But I just want to take a quick minute and show you the different ways you can do this. In this video, I'm got, I got a two and a half inch laptop hard drive here that I have the USB adapter for. Just want to show you the different types of adapters. This is the one that I'm going to use for, for this video. Then, of course, you can get these for a three and a half inch hard drive. Just plugs right in. You can easily buy these online. They're not too expensive. The three and a half inch one comes with a power adapter you have to plug in. Then if you got a solid state drive, um, whether it's a two, oops, a two and a half inch or a M2 or an MVM drive, you can get these little USB adapters that easily plug right into the side of your computer or the front of your desktop. You can get a PCI Express adapter that you can put an M2 drive in as well. Um, so there's a variety of different adapters that you can get to, to do this manually. So having showed you all the different types of adapters, there's also, I'm sorry, there's also one here you can get for a two and a half inch drive that is the new C-type USB. So trying to recover your browser data and you got a new computer, a lot of the new ones have the C-type USB. So the data transfers a little bit quicker. So let's get into Windows and see if we can get this done. All right, guys. Um, I hooked up that USB adapter to my bad 2.5 inch hard drive. Let's go check it out at PC here. Gonna open up two of these. So, here's the bad hard drive, this Windows Drive E here. First, here's my local drive, Drive C. So, let me, before I do that, let me launch Chrome real quick. There's a bare bones Chrome with no data, no extensions, no history, no anything. Uh, here's Firefox. Again, no data, no browsing history, no anything really, just new Firefox. So let's import the data from this bad hard drive for both browsers into the browsers on, on the computer that we want to work. So let's start by opening up this drive here. And before we go any further, let's go up and click on View. We're going to go over here and check the box for hidden items. There's the folder we need to access our hidden by default. So we're going to go into, down to User Accounts here, where it says Users. Double click that. And in this case, there was just one user account. Now you could have multiple user accounts in here and do the same process. In this case, we have one, so I'm going to double click it. And there's all the user folders with all the data. But we want the app data, the hidden folder here. Let's open that. Let's um, do Firefox first, so we have to open the roaming folder right here. And here's the Mozilla folder with all the all the stuff in it, so to speak. So let's go over here and right click on Mozilla. I'm going to click on copy. I'm going to go over to my local drive with the new Firefox installed. Go to the, oh, to the same location. Go down to users. And go to my Dale account that I'm in. I'll go to app data. Roaming. And here's my Mozilla folder, but we won't worry about that. Let's just right click over here where there's nothing. Right click. We're going to paste that folder in there. Take too long for Mozilla. And yes, we want to replace. So there. Pull these out real quick. Now let's open Firefox. And there, I got my dark brown theme, um, I got my history, some of it in here, um, I don't use Firefox that much, um, 
Here's some of my bookmarks, any extensions you would have had. Uh, let me click on my Gmail account here. Look at that. Transferred the password, the login, everything. If we go up here and type in whatever, the browsing history will show up. So that worked. Now let's do the same thing for Chrome. So let's go back and open up our drives. So let's go back to the bad hard drive here. Go to users. I'm going to go to this one user account. So we'll end the update again right here. And for Chrome, we're going to go into the local folder here. And down here where it says Google, everything is in here. Now, if you click into these folders like I'm doing here, user data, default, that's a default profile. For that one user, that one profile, that's where everything is going to be. And you've got your favorite cons for your bookmarks. Here's your bookmarks file. Now, if you just wanted your bookmarks and favorite cons, you can copy and paste these in the same location over here on your drive seat. You get one of the other stuff. So let's go back. We're going to do everything. Oops. Go back to local. We're going to right click on the Google folder. Copy it. We're going to go over here to the local drive. We're going to go to users. Go to my Dale account. That's the account that we're in. We're going to go to app data. We're going to go to local. And here's the Google folder. We're just going to right click over here. We're going to paste. Now with Chrome and Google, there's a lot more data, nearly a gigabyte. So we're going to let that copy over. Take a few minutes, depending on the speed. Now if this were a solid state drive, this transferring process goes a lot faster. It's no funky hard drive. It's no hard drive. It's bad. Um, once all that copy is over, you should be able to open Chrome up and look like it did before when the old hard drive still worked. Now, Mozilla used to have a program, or there is a, a free app you can download. I think it's called Mo's Backup or Mosey Backup used to work, but that will only work if you can boot up your computer and back up and then restore your entire profile. And in this case, we removed the hard drive literally right out of the computer. So this process can come in handy. So we're going to replace here. Okay, so that finished. Let me close this out. Close this out. And let's open up Chrome. See what happens. Look at that. There's our Chrome with all of our stuff back in it. I'm even signed in. Got my Gmail here. Put up a new tab. They're browsing some of our browsing history, bookmarks and favorites. Um, got our Grammarly extension. So that worked. Now, one thing I've noticed or I've tried before, if you're doing this, Let's say, let me show you. Go into our local drive of users. See, I got a bunch of user accounts. Now, if I wanted to move all my Chrome and Firefox information, say, into this user account, that's fine. It, it works, but I've found that doing this with Chrome from user to user on the same hard drive, for whatever reason, it will not copy the save form data like passwords and usernames. It'll get everything else, but just not the the passwords when, when you're doing it from user account to user account on the same drive. So just a little tip I thought I'd throw in there. Um, so we got both of our browsers reset back up, saved a lot of work. And let me show you one other thing with Chrome here. Of course if you set up a profile and or account with Firefox where you sign in, again, it'll save and sync all your stuff on the cloud. Same with Chrome, if you open up Chrome here. 
buck to your little avatar guy here and you turn on sync, which I don't like to do because then all this stuff is stored at Google. Probably got most of it anyway, but as far as syncing, that might be handy if you have more than one device or a couple of different computers that you're using your Google account on. So you sign in, you got the same stuff on both. Kind of handy for that. But I throw that in there. So there, we restored our browser data for Firefox and Chrome from a bad hard drive we took out of a laptop. We got it back on the working. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe so you can um, check out more videos. Thanks for watching.